Hiya, Michael here with a quick video changing the subject of an equation and it's from the wonderful Corbett Maths website. Now Mr Corbett reckons you need a pen and of course he's absolutely right but you also need a brain and a rule to work with and there's something else as well. You also need to know about reverse operations. And of course, you know that those are the opposite of plus is minus. And the opposite of minus is plus. And the opposite of multiply is divide. And the opposite of divide is multiply. We're going to need that in a moment or two. Right, let's have a look at some problems then. OK, here's problem number one. And it says make D the subject of E equals D plus 5. So what that means is I'm looking for something that says E equals something that we have yet to determine. Right, I'm going to do this the slow way. I'm going to write this out again as E equals D plus 5. Now, I want to get... Oh, I made a mistake. Um, let me get rid of that mistake. I don't want E there. I want... D. So I've got E equals D plus 5 but what I want is D by itself so that means I've got to get rid of this. Change the side, change the sign. So I take this 5 over to the other side of the equal sign, change the sign and of course that means reverse operations. So when I write this out again, I'm going to take this plus 5 to the other side. So I'm going to have E minus 5 equals D. But I cannot leave it like that because I want to finish up with D on the left hand side. So I'm going to put this on the right hand side. E minus and there's my final answer. Right, here's example number two. So it says rearrange T equals W over 2 to make W the subject. So I want to finish up with W equals something or other. Right, like before, I'm going to write this out again. T equals W over 2. Now, I don't want this 2, but I want the W by itself. So I'm going to change the side. Now, the 2 is dividing. So when I change the sign, I use reverse operations. Reverse operation of divide is, of course, multiply. So I'm going to finish up with W by itself and on the right left hand side here I'm going to have 2 times T. But of course I can't leave it like that because I want W on the left hand side so I rewrite it as W equals 2T. Of course I never write a multiplication sign. OK, let's have a look at another one then. OK, number three. Rearrange this formula, that's this one here, to make C the subject. So I'm going to finish up with something that looks like C equals whatever. Right, I'm going to go a little bit quicker now. I want C by itself, 
So I'm going to get rid of this minus W. Remember, change side, change sign. Reverse operation of minus is plus. So I'm going to finish up with C equals A plus W. There it is. You see, I missed out the intermediate stage there. Great, we're getting a little bit quicker. Let's miss a few out now and have a look at some of the more challenging ones. OK, I'm going to start getting a little bit faster now. Now, I've got two terms on the right hand side and I've got to get rid of one term and then the other term. We always start away from what we want. So check the question. It says make W the subject of the formula. Right, I'm going to swap that over. Just turn it over that way. And I'm going to get rid of the minus A first. When I take it to the other side, it becomes plus A. So my next line is going to be 3W equals Y plus A. I hope you see how I did that. I kind of took that and in my head I made it 3W minus A equals Y. And then I took that got rid of it and made it plus A on that side. And I did all that lot in my head. Right, my next step is to get rid of this three. Now on this side, it's multiplying. So when I take it to the other side, it's got to divide and it's got to divide everything. So I'll finish up with W equals Y plus A and all of that lot divided by 3. And there's my answer. Right, now the next question, 7, is much more like a proper GCSE question. There's part A, part B and below that part C. So it says part A, work out the value of V when U equals 4 and T equals 3. Well, this is the way that I like to do it. I'm going to write the formula out again. V equals U plus 10 T. Then over on this side, I'm going to write the data. I've got u equals 4 and t equals 3. Now I'm going to put this data into this formula. So v, I'm going to carry the equal sign directly down. u is 4. Then I've got a plus sign 10t. That means 10 multiplied by t. So that's 10 multiplied by 3. And you can probably see straight away that's 4 plus 30, which is 34. And then underline the answer. So formula, data, substitution and calculation, and then the final answer. OK, let's have a look at part B now. It says make U the subject of the formula. So I want to have something that looks like U equals V. I want to get the U by itself. Here I've got plus 10T. When I take it to the other side, it's going to be minus 10t. I hope you see 
how I did that. If you didn't, you need to study it, look at it, understand it, until you can see, oh yes, that's what he did. Right, let's look at part C now. So it says make T the subject of the formula. OK, well, I'm going to make this into, first of all, 10T equals V minus U, V minus U. That's my first step. And then I can get rid of the 10 from there. Change the side, change the sign. Multiplying here, it divides everything on the other side. So I've got T equals V minus U, all divided by 10. And there's my final answer. OK, good. First thing... Remember the rule. Secondly, practice. And thirdly, become the expert. So that if any of the other youngsters in your class are having difficulty with this, they can come to you and you can explain it to them perfectly. And finally, the most important thing is have fun and feel proud because once you've learnt the rule you've practiced and you've become the class expert you really do have something to feel proud about and having fun have fun with maths you will be amazed at just how much fun you can have being a mathematician and I'm speaking as a very very happy mathematician Okay, bye now.